What's up guys, it's Tony with 4Money. On this episode, I'm gonna be buying a huge wholesale pallet of bicycle parts and accessories. Stay tuned. All right, so once again, I visited my favorite wholesaler in town and they posted this really cool picture of a bunch of bike stuff in one box. And I sold bike stuff before, and but just a very small amount, and it had a lot of success, a lot of success on eBay. And when I saw a whole box of the same stuff, man, I was just all over it. I was really surprised it was available. I thought it was a total steal. A ton of people were after it, and I was just the one that ended up with it. So I called them up, I said, look, I really want that bike stuff. Please hold it for me. First come, first serve. I hit it that way. I went and purchased it. And I was just like, oh my gosh, totally, totally thrilled about it. So I got there, the guy put it on the forklift and he lifted it up and said, man, this is really heavy. And I actually loaded it up on my neighbor's truck because my truck was kind of out of commission for a couple of days. So I borrowed my neighbor's truck. And when the guy put the forklift on it, man, that the back of the truck just, like went boom like it sank and I took a few action picks when I was there and I brought it home and I started sorting through it I started going through it I started taking it out and putting it in different boxes by category and even some of the neighborhood kids helped me out and it took about an hour and a half to go through it all but it was everything I started pulling out was just more and more and more impressive um, there was a lot of really cool things that I started to pull out and a lot of it had a lot of value in it. And I just could not wait to start posting this stuff because the stuff that I was seeing was everything that I hoped I would get again one day. And it was here in this giant box, all bike stuff. So I kept digging and I came across an actual bike, an actual BMX bike. And yeah, mind you, it's a smaller one, but the whole bike was in there. I started finding a bunch of more cool stuff in there. I found tires, gloves, helmets, accessories, inner tubes, more tires. And I found this cool little kid's training bike. And I'm just completely thrilled with everything that was coming out of here because it all looked like it was in pretty good condition. So let's go outside. Let me uh, organize it, kind of lay it all out in the driveway like I do normally. And then we can talk about it. All right, let's go. Every time I am amazed at how much stuff can really fit in one of those huge boxes. I am amazed every time. <laughs> look, look at all this stuff, guys. How can all this stuff fit in that box? Look, how does all this stuff fit in that box? That's crazy. This is nuts, people. I don't get it, but it all fits in there. Look at that, even the bike was in there. So I'm gonna quickly walk you through kind of what's in all this. I went through it yesterday. It was about 95% new. And just because I had this much stuff doesn't mean the company wasn't able to sell it. It means they were not able to sell it quick enough. So that means that somebody else who's got more time, like me, can kind of sort it out and sell it at a slower pace. Right over here, we have all of these open tires. There was 56. 56 of these open tires, all new. And the retail value on all these tires was $1,062, okay? We have all of these inner tubes and the retail value on all of these inner tubes was like $1,700 on just the inner tubes. This uh, BMX bike, it is used, but it's still in pretty good shape. Uh, retails for 160. I'll probably sell it for like maybe 30, 40 bucks locally. You should. Sure. That's why you wear a helmet. That was not on purpose. And I'm glad it was a used bike because I just scratched it pretty bad. And we have these really cool little balance bikes that kids use to learn how to ride 
Uh, this one retails for 90 and then we have these four helmets right here. Those four helmets all together retail for about $220. Down here in the front, we had a total of about 40 gloves and the retail on all these gloves is about $740. All right, and right over here, we have 28 of these box tires. These are kind of harder to ship because they're so bulky and they weigh a lot and the value is not incredibly high, but altogether, these 28 tires retail for $592. And right over here, there is a lot of value in these tires right here. I'm, call, I'm calling them hanging tires because I don't know how else to describe them. But these tires, uh, there's 22 of them right here you see on the floor, retail for $726. And then back over here, we've got some smaller ones. There's 11 of them. Those retail for $230. And these have a lot of value in them because Tires don't go bad unless you wear them, unless you use them. And these are all brand new. And like I said, just because I was able to acquire so much does not mean they're not valuable. It just means that the store who was selling them doesn't have the time anymore. So they want to move on to the next product. All right, and back over here, we've got a ton of these pedals. I've sold bike pedals before and I always wanted to get a ton more and here they are, a ton of these bike pedals. The retail value on these bike pedals right here, $2,300 on these bike pedals you see right here, $2,300. We've got these three baskets that retail for 35 bucks a piece. We've got these accessories right here. We have a few more things up here. We've got these uh, extendable bike seats. All together in these accessories, $550. Let me kind of bring it back to the front again. This is everything. Everything once again. This is a lot of stuff. All right, now for the fun part. I wanna go over some numbers with you. The numbers always get me and I like them. We paid, oh no, 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 let me, let me back it up. The total value of all this stuff, the total value, look at all this stuff right there. $8,300, the total value of all that stuff. That's nuts. You have about four seconds to guess what we pay for all this stuff. All right, if you guessed 500, you were right. $500, 500 bucks for all this stuff. Oh my gosh, that is just ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just like stoked about this one. This is just nuts, I'm excited. Um, so there is a total of 370 items, 370 total items. At 500 bucks for everything, that's a dollar 35 per item. A dollar 35 per item. I, whew, that's that's another steal. A dollar 35 per item. So if I sell each item for three dollars, I mean I'm more than double my money. A dollar 35. Oh my gosh. Okay. So with the retail value being about 83, 8400 dollars, us paying 500 bucks for everything. That means we got everything for 94% off retail. If this stuff was in the store at 94% off, I would have taken it, 94% off. So somebody really close to me wanted to get into the whole buying and flipping game. So this is what I told them. I said, look, next time I buy something, you and I will go half and half. We'll go half and half on whatever it is and you pay me half, I'll give you half the stuff, you sell it, you keep it. Now I'm gonna try to separate it, give them a piece, I'll keep the other piece. Now, what they want to sell mostly is eBay stuff. So I'm going to give them a lot of small items that they'll have a lot of success selling on eBay. I'm going to keep some of the bigger stuff like the rack, the, the big bikes, um, some of the bigger tires that are kind of hard to sell. And I'm going to give them a lot of stuff that they can really sell. That, that's, just, that's just really cool to me. There's no challenge associated with this video. I, I, I know the money's going to be made back. $1.35 per item, you're not going to lose. I mean, even if you sit on this stuff for some time, you're not gonna lose. When I saw the price was 500 bucks, I drove over there like a madman and I said, I gotta have this stuff. I called my friend, they said, look, let's go have these on it. I don't know what it's gonna sell for, but typically stuff usually sells for about 60 to 70% off retail. And since we bought it for 94% off, I mean, there's, we're, Worst case, I think we're each going to make like a grand in profit. This has been a very exciting one, guys. I haven't sold anything yet, but 
I'm, I'm glad to share this with my friend. All right, everybody, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Look, you don't have to buy wholesale. You don't have to go buy pallets of massive stuff. You don't. Just go out there, buy something, sell it, and use the profits to either go buy more stuff or to fund your passion. So what I'm gonna do with the profits, which I call for money, is I'm always gonna go play golf with it, buy golf stuff, do golf related things, because that's my passion. And the rest of it, I'll just go buy more stuff and I keep the process going. This is a passion of mine that I enjoy. Please go out there, fund your passion. There, there is money to be made. All right guys, see you next time.